It's estimated that during the hot summer months, the average homeowner uses 40% of their household water in the yard. 40%! And while so much water may make for some green lawns, it's a huge drain on our already dwindling overall supply. So, what if every person in the country undertook some small-scale effort to reduce their water usage in the yard? Can you imagine how much we'd save? Well, a friend of mine in Kent, Washington knows Public conservation specialist Gina Hungerford has spent nearly 20 years working on water use issues, and she's got a terrific method for using recycled materials to recycle rainwater. Think of all the things rain is good for. It cleans the air, replenishes lakes and rivers, douses our yards with the moisture that plants love. But all too often, rainwater becomes wastewater when it gets channeled into already stressed sewer systems. But here's a simple, efficient, low-cost way homeowners can collect and recycle this precious resource. Install your very own rain collection barrel. Rain barrels are simply large containers uh, that capture rainwater at the end of your downspout. Although plastic is preferred because it doesn't rust, any large waterproof container with a lid will work as a rain barrel. When you get it home, rinse it out with your hose, just stick your hose in the, the, uh, in the opening up at the top, the bung, and flush it out really well. It'll get up to this level and spill over and fill the next barrel. Jeff Greer is Gina's co-worker at the Covington Water District. He's going to turn this large plastic food quality barrel into a rain barrel. He starts by drilling a hole using the three quarter inch bit into the cap of the barrel another nearby on the side an inch or two below the top, then flips it over and drills one more three inch hole. Next, each threaded adapter end needs to be wrapped with plumber's tape for a watertight seal. Jeff screws them all together, making sure they're nice and snug. This new piece screws into the hole in the cap and will allow you to control the release of the water. The hole on the side is for the spigot, Jeff secures it on the inside with a small piece of PVC pipe, then attaches a garden hose. To make a funnel for water going into the rain barrel, cut a piece of window screening a little bigger than the PVC coupling it'll cover. Secure it with a hose clamp and slide it into the large hole in the barrel. Your rain collector is now ready to install. To attach the rain barrel to your house, you would first want to find a place that's level uh, on the ground to make sure that it'll stand up nice and straight and not fall over because the, the one thing about rain barrels, when they're full of water, they weigh over 400 pounds. So you want to make sure wherever they're located, it's on a level area. Jeff is using a couple of cinder block stacks to raise the rain barrel off the ground. That leaves room underneath for a watering can to retrieve the wet stuff. The section an inch or two above the funnel of the rain barrel has an elbow cut out of it. Inside is a pad covering a metal screen. That softens the sound of the rain hitting the screen. When the rain barrel is full, the hinge can be closed and the water flows out the downspout. So just how quickly will one of these bad boys fill up? It fills the rain barrel within a matter of minutes if in a good downpour. Um, just to give you an example, a quarter inch of rain falling on a typical size family home roof will yield about two, a little over 200 gallons of water. Remember, rain barrels hold about 55 gallons of water. To stretch your garden's water supply even further for those dry summer months, Gina says you can connect additional barrels. Just make sure to redirect surplus water. When you install your rain barrel, you want to be sure to have an overflow pipe so if you do get a good rainstorm and the barrels uh, are filled, the excess water can then escape through the uh, overflow pipe. And you definitely want to make sure that that's aimed away from your foundation. So next time someone says water conservation is over their head, you can agree wholeheartedly. That rooftop can funnel enough water into your rain barrel to fill it over and over again throughout the year. Save water, save money, save the sewers and save one of our most valuable resources for your plants instead of just watching it go down the drain. The rainwater is excellent for your plants. Your plants love it. A couple of very important safety precautions to keep in mind. Make sure the rain barrel has a lid on it. That'll keep curious young children and animals from toppling in and it also keeps any potential mosquito population explosion down. And if you've treated your roof with chemicals to kill the moss or preserve the wood, Unhook the rain barrel for at least two weeks.